Well, we have arrived through thick and thin, through entire episodes dedicated to the wall of the birdcage being pushed. For better or for worse, we are here. Luffy's 1v1 with Dolphamingo, the final 1v1, I'm presuming, of Dressrosa. The one to decide it all. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. I'm very excited to get into it today because this is it. Luffy promised Dolphamingo to be taken down in one single hit, one single blow. So, uh, uh, is he is he just lying or what? Dolphamingo's had all this time to heal himself. He's been chilling. Luffy isn't even in fourth gear. I mean, he, I don't even know if he's in second gear, to be honest. So it's time to see how this all goes down. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub. It is never too late. And let's get started. <laughs> the, like heroic music. Lucy! Dude, say Luffy! The birdcage so tight and looks so sick, by the way. <laughs> Even Fujitora was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> Things are progressing. He swapped him and, and that makes sense. Yep. I guess I thought he was going to come flying in, but lost swapping them. And him breaking Rebecca's blade, showing she doesn't have to hurt anyone still. To this day. Oh my gosh. Oh, the framing. Uh, it makes me so horny, man. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm going to shut the series down. I just like how they like reestablished how stupidly like tall Doflamingo is over and over again. How intimidating he is. All right, here we go. And Gyatz is back up. Can he really do one? Dude. Dude. Right, he's not fourth gear. I was just about to say, yeah, there's no... He said, shut your ass up, boy. Dang, bro. So much for a comeback. Get up, Luffy. No. Atta boy. Wait. They've been on that rooftop this whole time. They're like a block away. Oh my, they're right there? Dog. What the hell? Why did I think they were in the palace? <laughs> they're literally right down the street, across the street. How does he take him down? Ever Oh! It's an ocean of string! I mean, Luffy hasn't thrown a, bl uh, a punch yet or a blow, so technically it could still be a single blow. Thousand arrows! Damn! That's like a final move, man. I mean, thank goodness it's only hitting his stomach. I... It pierced hockey! Oh my gosh! I thought you made your comeback, bro. He's, he's, he's teasing him. Come on, Lucy. I don't know. Shout something uh, uh, inspiring, Yats. Ah! Bro's going to have like 30 new scars after this. Like, how do you fight back against that besides going for the user? Luffy also, but like, I feel like the, the imagery, like, it looked like he was like crucified, man. It's very interesting how often they did that, have done that in this arc. It has to be Luffy that does it. That takes Dovamingo down. I mean, maybe I, I was right the, the end of the last one. Like, maybe Zoro does come flying in. But even Zoro, I don't know if he could cut his strings. He cut Pika and Pika was hockey. Actually, now that I think about it, <laughs> maybe Zoro's fit for this. I knew that the Coliseum Warriors would have some part in this, and I guess them pushing back the birdcage as much as possible is that part. Get up, boy! He is struggling, man. He has a string on... Does he have one on him? No shot, bro. We've come full circle. Luffy's being puppeteered. Oh my gosh. How is he supposed to get out of this alone, at the very least? Like, willpower? I feel like Dovamingo is even overplaying... What? To get a really? <laughs> Next time I'll win. Kong gun. I, he used it already, no? I figured he named it because of like a gorilla like King Kong. <laughs> you gotta make another move. Oh, it's gonna be what he chooses. Here. Oh, yeah, he already used it on once and it didn't defeat him. Mm-hmm. That's such a sick move, though. 
So Kong Gun is like him in fourth gear, charging back a punch and then just expelling it. I try to take note of the differences between all the moves. He's bringing up that they still all be fine if he hadn't come here. Why don't I feel like he's building up this walk to him? Like he's gonna try to break out when he's near him and hit him. Dude, it's gonna have to be a punch like uh in freaking Saba Odi. Like we're freaking we see like manga panels. It's gonna be whatever he like really told him to come up with that's better than or stronger than at the very least Kong gun. It wouldn't tease that for no reason, no. But what could be stronger than him Him in fourth gear charging up a fat punch? Like, dude, at the very least, he's ha he has to get back into fourth gear, no? He's going fourth gear! Yes, I wanna see it again so bad, bro. I wanna see it again so bad. Turn into fourth gear and he'll use you in fourth gear, he's saying. Dude, it looks so wild. And then the devil fruit with like the markings, man. I, dude, I love it so much. He broke out. Oh! There he goes, bouncing. Enough to take you down in one hit, buddy boy. Oh, what? He's gaining momentum in the sky. Maybe he wants to go in the air so nobody gets hurt. Dude, the strings chasing after looks so insane. It sounds like planes taking off. What's the move? I like how you can just hover like this. <laughs> oh, damn. Poor Born is trash. How can you say that to Luffy, though? Luffy's like, goodness, like, God Conqueror's hockey. Like, that's just, that doesn't make sense. He baited him and he wanted to use spider web because he knows he can't. Oh, I mean, he busted the strings that were attached to him. What did he make? Maybe gum gum Kong gun? Wait, does he like blow it up? Taxes you. Does he like blow it up like third gear? He's doing it to one arm. Harder on his body, but it's like an all or nothing. Oh my, dude, the symbol's expanding. Oh my God. King Kong. Is it, does it use third gear? It just blows it up more. Oh! Dude, the, the, that shot is just, oh. Uh, God, that has to be his best attack. King Kong gun goes fucking crazy. It's, it's arcing, the hockey. Oh my God, the spider web in the air. Don't Flamingo doesn't look like he's even struggling, but if it breaks through. I, I mean, dog, he said one hit and this is the hit. Regardless, whether or not it collapses or not. Dog, it's pushing him back. Oh my God. He's using full thrusters. Kondro's still like, I still don't know who you are, but go! He's pushing through! Damn! Oh shit, he broke the spider web! Oh my god, sense of fucking earth! Dude, he split the earth with his body! He's falling to hell! It's so beautiful! Oh my gosh. The enemies of celestial dragons. <gasps> no shot! The glass is broke! That it's over! That has to mean it's over! Dog, the glass is broke! Ugh. Dude, it's so beautiful. Him, it, it like literally looks like he's falling to hell. It makes so much sense poetically. He is a demon. He's been built up to be one. All this image, like all him like standing in front of the fires, his shadow, the red piercing eyes through the darkness. It's so good, man. 734. They're just going flying down. I have to see him without the glass. He just got goddamn buried. His glasses broke, dude. They broke. I feel like that like more than anything signifies that he's defeated. Let's go, baby. It's over. That's it. I love this song so much, man. I love it.
Dude, it already feels like so long ago. And only like five of them are even here. God, that soundtrack, man. Oh my gosh. Ugh, it cuts to my freaking core, bro. Dude, I like how he deflates like a balloon. It's so funny. Yep, yep, you grab him, Law. You freaking grab him. Uh-huh. Dude, it's over. It is over. Law knows it too. Bro, did Dolphamingo goddamn perish? He fell down here and just like all like the whole like block dropped on him. Luffy actually dropped the neighborhood on him. Oh we still don't see his eyes. How? No, he's he's out. He is out. The, wait, is the birdcage gone? I didn't think. Oh, I've been so like tunnel vision. I haven't even looked. Oh, not yet. If he is unconscious, it'll signify from the birdcage being, like, I guess, disappearing or something. <laughs> They're like, what happened? He's like, I don't think I can describe this, guys. He's got to announce the winner of the fight, man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dude, I love this. Like, oh, like him announcing and like shout casting. It's so cool. The birdcage is going down. It's over. Oh, my gosh. Bro, I swear to God, some people are going to be hopping on their boats like, I don't care if he's dead or not. I'm getting the hell out of here. Go to my, my islands in, in Cabos, bro. <laughs> Dude, so much of it is just obliterated. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. The reign of terror is over. What a freaking journey just on this island, man, from knowing absolutely nothing about it. Dude, it almost makes me sad that so many of the Straw Hats aren't here to see Luffy's grand victory over Doflamingo. I'm also still pretty worried about them, not gonna lie. Dude, what does Fujitora do from here now? Like, does he let them leave? Quite frankly, I would. He just, uh, uh, these pirates just saved so, such an absurd number of people from dying. And the clouds break, baby. Oh. It's beautiful. A new day dawns over Dressrosa. Oh my gosh, man. Why is the music getting bad? What? Oh no, that's decent music. It's like good, bad, neutral. I think this is more neutral. Dude. The rebuilding process is insane. It would take years. Is that what it's called? The Dress Rosa Defensive War? 2000! Yeah, seriously, the luck of having the warriors in the Coliseum that were here. I mean, it came down to Luffy being here, realistically. Luffy and the Straw Hats. <laughs> Just seeing all the, the tears. You can't even say the winner. The winner. Come on, Gats. My goodness. He is a mess, bro. <laughs> the serious shot of Riku and just hearing Gats like choke on his own words. Oh, shoot. Mother C. It all started that day, a decade plus ago, and has led to this moment. Oh, feel his face. He's still trying to say it. Dude, the civilians are over it. That's it, man. That is it. That is it. Someone has a shirt that says Lucy on it. How do you already have merch? Wait, what? <laughs> Someone saw an opportunity in the free market and they took it. <laughs> Bart, bro. Aw, <laughs> they're all celebrating together. A true man. Dressrosa has broken my brain. 
Dude, uh, I mean, uh, Usopp uh, freaking carried, Leo carried. We had so many freaking breakout stars, man. Robin carried, Bart carried. Oh my gosh. They're walking out. Aw. Dude, I like Frankie's relationship with the Tontadas. It's so cute. It started very early on in this arc, too. Ever since uh, freaking uh, Kiros told him that, yeah. Frankie attached to it very quickly. Attached to their entire thing, yeah. Uh, he was the one that called Luffy and was like, I'm gonna fight with them. Because he, he knew that he would stand behind them. <laughs> They're going to wipe his tears. I was gonna say, yeah, we haven't even seen him. Damn, Giga Chad. Are we getting a freaking banquet next episode or what? If there was a banquet hall here, it is, it is gone. Well, I guess the palace is still up. It is interesting, though, if we don't get, like, final words from Doflamingo, like, if he perished from that hit, regardless if he does or doesn't, like, I don't know if he would be able to say anything, like, the humiliation of defeat. I I don't even, I, my brain can't even compre comprehend what he would say. Doflamingo is genuinely probably one of the most prideful characters in this entire world, if not the most. That's why, like, seeing him actually defeated is almost unreal. Kuro's family is free. Him and Rebecca can have a real life. Damn. All by himself. All of Rebecca's tears on Luffy. And that is it it man i mean we haven't even seen what happened with like sabo and burgess though like i figure sabo wouldn't lose but like how that would all resolve like we didn't see the reactions or anything I actually come to think of it i can't believe we got we didn't get sabo's reaction to luffy using that freaking king kong gun on on doflamingo i would have thought he would have looked and be like damn that's my brother but uh who knows man who knows we still have like in this section on Crunchyroll, like i think over 10 episodes so i feel like we're about to delve into quite a bit but regardless, the war is over. I'm like 99.9%. .9%. They would have done all this like celebration reactions and whatnot if Dovamingo and like the family weren't truly defeated. So I think that genuinely is it. The 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 actual end of the war in Dressrosa. And it's like a bitter, it's always a bittersweet feeling. We're not even done with the arc yet, but it's a bittersweet feeling to be done with that entire segment because I just get so emotionally attached to everything that's going on. And it's like a, a one chapter closing, but a new is beginning soon and i've enjoyed the heck out of dress rosa they pacing problems yes more so than any other arc in the entire show but regardless just hype levels like uh, uh unremarkable it was an entire war here man on a scale we've never seen on that of like marine four like a war of of that stature i mean yes not like soldiers on both sides like that many but like the whole don quixote family like how a, a strong of fighters all of them were one piece really knows how to set up these insanely grand stages and it's so cool to watch it it's to watch it all unfold but soon we get to get into the juiciness that is post arcs i believe because like i said on the section on crunchy we still have a decent amount but i'm assuming that we're gonna find out what what, what went down with the sunny if they got away if they didn't what our next destination is how dress rosa is going to recover the the outcome of doflamingo like does fuji tour just go try to find his body and take him in like so many unanswered questions and so much to see like what just happens next and i cannot wait guys that's been it for my reaction today i hope you did enjoy drop a like on this one and i'll catch you guys next time peace peace